It's a warm, sunny afternoon in Innisfail. Those living with dementia and their caregivers are here at a regular event called Memory Cafe. They play games, socialize, and on this day, wish Ed a happy birthday. Even coming today, Ed was so excited. Even though, like, it's his birthday, but he was so excited to get out. A sense of belonging. Caregivers can also feel isolated, so they appreciate this opportunity to meet others like themselves. I really enjoy it because I need, I need contacts, I need a little bit of a, an outing. And for Lee, it's, it's awesome as well. She gets an activity and she sees other people. Memory Cafe is one example of why Innisfail has become a dementia-friendly community. For me, that means a community where people living with dementia feel included. They feel like a valuable member of the community. Jennifer, along with Wendy Evans, a geriatric assessment registered nurse, and Ellen Helgeson, a recreation therapist, make up the healthcare half of a team in Innisfail called Community Partners in Action, also known as the Weird Mix. So the weirder the mix, the better the fix. In other words, the more diverse the backgrounds and experiences of those in the group, the better the solutions. The goal of the Weird Mix is to make Innisfail a better place for those living with dementia, their caregivers and their families. To do that, they collaborated with other agencies in Innisfail, the Wolf Creek Primary Care Network, Alberta Health Services, the Town of Innisfail Family and Community Support Services, and many others. The reason this works so well is there's so much collaboration, that's interagency collaboration, and that's one of the things as a community that we've been really focused on is trying to bring as many partners together as possible. Thanks to a grant obtained by the Primary Care Network, Jennifer was able to serve full-time as coordinator for the Dementia-Friendly Community Program. She held information sessions on dementia for first responders and local businesses and provided them with dementia-friendly resource kits. Small encounters with people in the community might be their only um, source of socialization for that day or that week. So really being respectful and caring. As you're talking to a patient that has a bit of dementia, not to go out, and out of your way to try to correct them all the time, just to listen. And and it was quite good. I think the whole staff benefited from it. People living with dementia may forget your name, but they'll never forget the way you make them feel. Many persons living with dementia and their caregivers live in isolation. So Community Partners in Action created opportunities for them to socialize with others. This is Bulbs and Blooms, an intergenerational garden program. So Ed, were you the gardener? <laughs> or was it Mary Dell? Just having a chance to sit and have a coffee and a visit at the garden. Uh, reminiscing about how they planted the garden. That's the smallest one, eh? <laughs> With the help of a local physiotherapist, a fall prevention program was created. Organized exercises can help to reduce the rate of decline, uh, improve their stability and balance, uh, and uh, prevent falling. By doing the fall prevention on the Memory Cafe over the last two years has certainly maintained people's function and their overall brain health to be able to stay at home longer rather than go into an, an institution. And that's where people want to be, right? They want to be at home and participating in their community. When the pandemic arrived, groups could no longer get together in person. So the Weird Mix created a virtual online program called Innisfail Connects. They can come online, they can do exercises, they can play bingo, they can have coffee with each other. To get together in a safe environment where they can be themselves, have a lot of fun and just connect with each other. You know, this winter we had an online tour because of COVID um, at the Reynolds Museum. So that's a different experience. We will do painting. Uh, we had a chocolatier come in and teach us how to make truffles. Considering that just three years ago, Innisfail had very little programming for individuals living with dementia, the strides that have been made are significant. Going forward, there are more programs planned, including Music for the Soul, an intergenerational choir, and Making Waves, a swimming program for persons living with dementia. The program has allowed us to really coordinate the services that we have in town and have more to offer to patients and their families when they come in with struggles. So Bigger communities tend to have more resources and I think 
with this group, we're showing that even with less resources, we've still maximized opportunities to engage our residents. Congratulations to Innisfail's Community Partners in Action, aka the Weird Mix, recipients of a 2021 RPAP Rhapsody Healthcare Heroes Award. I'm thrilled that they are um, the recipients of this award. Um, not only because they are incredibly deserving, because they are, but I know that they will use it as a platform to speak about the project and to spread the news and to spread the awareness. I see in Jennifer, Ellen and Wendy such a passion for what they are doing. Um, they truly care about what they're doing and there's so much enthusiasm. It is truly my uh, honour and privilege on behalf of the town of Innisfail to recognise Jennifer, Ellen and Wendy for uh, having been acknowledged and receiving this Rhapsody Award. Your work with the uh, dementia friendly community has uh, made Innisfail a better place for everyone. Huge congratulations to you guys. It's a well-deserved award, and I think this is just the beginning of even better things to come. We didn't do, um, you know, create programming or um, support the community or people living with dementia and their care partners for an award, but it sure feels good. It feels amazing to be recognized by an organization like RPAP for the efforts that we've done to help make Innisfail a more dementia inclusive community to live and work in. It's certainly nice to be recognized and, and the fact that we can share what we're doing because that's what it's about too, right? We want to share with other communities what uh, we are trying to achieve.